Hi there, it's Friday afternoon. I just want to show you our office. I'm just about to interview Paul and show him the video clip that uh, Jackie sent through. Have a look. And then um, go for that move. Any bits you want, you can take out. After you know, like right. any pauses, or whatever. So, okay. Hi there. Uh, I'm Paul Milan. I'm senior project manager uh, working at Contour, um, and I've been uh, looked up on your video, and I see I have a few questions there that you've asked me. Uh, it's really good. It's quite an exciting way of doing do, doing a response. So, I've got a few questions that, and hopefully, I've got a few answers for you. Um, firstly, you asked us about meetings. Uh, I think particularly you're probably thinking about the steering group meetings along with the um, coming down and seeing the community down in Withing Grove. Um, if I pick up two things really, what I want to do is, is you're dead right, we should be down to see you. Uh, the weather probably did play a part of that, but I wouldn't solely blame the weather. Um, but as we did mention quite a while back, whenever we last met, there's there's quite a lot going on in the background kind of thing, um, so there hasn't been a case of us forgetting you up there in Within Grove at all, um, and indeed the work that Sam and, and the likes of James are doing is, is reinforcing that. So what I will commit to in the next two weeks, this is now Friday the 26th of Feb, and um, next week is March, which is really scary, but within two weeks you'll have a schedule of dates for both the steering group meeting and you'll have an evening meeting set up for us to come up and see you face to face and have a chat again with you on that one. So I hope that's okay. Um, the second item you asked us about was the group structure and the different components, subsidiaries within it. I could keep going on for that for quite a while and it's not easy and a lot of people even working within the group do, do, uh, do get a bit confused. I'll try and put it simply. There's a group structure which is Contour Housing Group um, and it's kind of like the corporate function. So things like finance and the development function and Sam, uh, I'll point at the camera because Sam's behind it, um, are do, there's kind of, those central functions are within the group. And then you've got group members and Heinburn Homes is a group member. And the basic, one of the main ideas behind it is, instead of every group member needing to have somebody in development or in regeneration or finance department, you can pull those resources in one central place and that's the group structure. And that frees up the group member to get on with the core business of working with the residents and providing a service to them. Um, so if we take within Grove Group, um, the functions that Contour Group are providing are the likes of myself and Sam looking at the regeneration of within Grove, both the physical and with the community. Group also look after the long-term maintenance of the property, so you'll hear planned maintenance. And basically that's the likes of kitchen replacements and heating systems and the big chunky stuff that whenever you put something into property it lasts for quite a number of years. So group look after that and that's about pulling resources across the group and getting the best price basically. Um, if you look at Heinburn Homes then, Heinburn Homes, if you think Heinburn Homes looks after the people who live in the properties. So they're kind of like with the lettings and neighbourhood management issues etc on that. Um, they also pick up day-to-day -day repairs and they do that through Heinburn Homes repairs. So if a window gets broken or a handle falls off the door or anything like that, it's felt that at the local level that's better being dealt with by Heinburn Homes uh, and that's where Heinburn Homes repairs comes in. Um, so it's a very snapshot of what the group structure is. What we'll commit to doing though is whenever we come up and see you uh, the date in within the next two weeks, you, you'll have confirmed we'll have a bit of a, a handout or a bit of a further discussion about that. So what I would say, if people have any other particular questions in the meantime, if they get in touch with us, email us, whatever, any questions, we'll try and answer those on, on the evening for you and have a bit, something to take away with you. Because it is confusing and I'm, I'm not being flippant about that. I know there are people who you would think would understand, don't I? And um, the final question, was progress on Within Grove, which I guess is really the, you know, the real core bit. Um, I, I kind of go back to the point that we did say it, it would feel at times that things weren't happening because you guys sitting there, living there, 
with the snow and all the cold and whatever, you don't see this, and there is a suspicion that stuff isn't happening. Um, it is happening. It probably isn't happening as quickly as you would like it, because you like us to be up there doing it now. But there is stuff going on. Just quickly, what we've been doing, you know that we've got a master plan, and that's now been agreed um, as a baseline for us to go forward. With that in mind, it, the master plan came up with, it was, I think it was about £12 million pounds worth of, of cost to deliver that master plan in one hit. As we've always said, there's not a big pot of money sitting there with Within Grove written on it within Hyburn Homes. So there was always an issue that once we knew how much we needed to get to, to deliver the master plan, we would then need to find out how do we fund that, and we're, that's the bit we're in at the minute. So Hyburn Homes, with, the, uh, with Contour Group, looking at the finances of that and the business plan, have been looking at basically what spare money they may have within their business plan and looking at different ways to try and generate any, any spare capacity. It's fair to say they're never going to suddenly come up and say, here's £12 million. So what we've needed to do then is, is think about, we've got the master plan, how do we break it down into bite-sized chunks, for want of a phrase? that enables us to start delivering pockets of the master plan, use the master plan as a base and trying to deliver bits of it over a period of time. And with that in mind we had in February just gone, um, or this month actually still, uh, we had um, a workshop with key members from um, Contour, Heinburn Homes and from um, the consultants involved and really was trying to break down the difficulties of delivering a big master plan with, with quite a high price tag. So it was really successful and it was really good. It, un it supported the master plan as still being a good way going forward and it started to help us break that down into bite-sized chunks. And that in turn is helping us feed back into the overall discussions about the business plan um, and what money is available and how that gets prioritised uh, on that basis. So that's where we're at at the minute. In a nutshell, Heimbrun Home did a lot of work about the business plan and seeing what capacity they have within it. We've broken down the master plan into a bit more bite-sized chunks and now are feeding that back into that review with the view to being able to try and identify monies that we can start to do things on the ground up there. And whenever we come and see you, we can put a bit more meat on the bones of that, hopefully. Um, but we'll be dead honest with you, as we've always said, and we'll tell you exactly where we are. And if we've not got as far as people would like, we'll try to explain why that is. Um, and just have a frank conversation with them. So hopefully um, that answers the questions. It's always difficult being a, being, being a, a man who can talk the, the, uh, the hind end off a donkey. I could have gone on for a long time. But I think hopefully this gives you an overview of where we are. Um, the meeting will get set up. You'll come up and uh, we'll come up and see you and you can grill us as much as you should like then. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you all. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any other questions, always get in touch. Bye then.